The need to build up your cash. I'm telling you, man, you might be saying, Chad, Josh, you're beating a dead horse. Come up with new content. Just got off the uh, call with a guy um, doing a financial plan for. And uh, I, I tell you, man, he's got like 350000 in a money market that's already been taxed. It's just good old-fashioned uh, brokerage money market at Vanguard. And uh, it just opens up so many. He's only 58, 59. I can't remember. what, But he's not 60. And uh, we're looking at Roth conversions. We're looking at living off the 401k and all that. And just, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, the fact he has so much cash just makes everything easier to work with. But he didn't maximize his taxes when he was working. Uh, I, I, working, smirking. Those days are gone. Now we got to plan for it. And the fact is, just going back to the Obamacare. So he's got enough in his brokerage account where if he gets, you know, and he's just... V, v tax or chill, V tax or chill, V, V, V T sax or chill. That's what I should say. V T sax or chill. That's hard to say. Like I should say V T I or chill. I need V T I or chill. But the facts are he's got enough in his brokerage account to generate enough dividends and interest where he will be between he and his wife, about $30,000 of AGI. All right. So that's perfect because now he won't qualify for Medicaid, but he's gonna qualify for significant Obamacare subsidies. Now, at some point, I would imagine that they're gonna look at net worth as opposed to income, uh, but that day isn't here, and as such, he's gonna qualify for Obamacare subsidies. So let's just say he's getting subsidies at a you know, uh, 1,000 bucks a month. So that's $12,000 a year until he's 65. So 12 times six is 72. So he's gonna save 72,000 in Obamacare premiums, all right? And if he did Roth conversions, he would save, uh, had him saving 800,000 in total taxes if he did Roth conversions, all right? But the savings on those taxes are gonna be way downstream, way downstream when he's like, in his, he and his better half are in their, in their mid to late 80s. And on top of that, that assumes a, there's a lot of assumptions that go into this on top of rates of return and all this stuff. So he's going to save the taxes, but it won't be until in their late 80s. On the other hand, he's going to save 72,000 bucks on the front end by doing Obamacare subsidies because he has cash in the account. And on the other hand, his, mar his money can still grow right? and it'll grow and it'll pay more tax. That's why he's paying more in tax uh, by not doing Roth conversions because his, pay his money is growing for longer in a tax deferred account. But in the interim, he's getting these Obamacare subsidies. He just retired. Yeah, and they're like why? Why go around the world? Why travel in your retirement with a burden of taxes when he can live tax free? He's not paying any taxes until he's sixty five in the front end of his retirement, because he had the foresight to bring up cash to build cash, which is exactly what I'm doing. I'm fifty years old. All my money is going into my post tax account, even though I'm making good income. I don't care. I want that money later on tax-free. Now, it's not quite tax-free, but it's pretty doggone close. In fact, in this case, it will be tax-free to him too because there's no income. Any capital gain he has uh, will be taxed as 0% under current tax law. Any qualified dividends will be taxed as 0% under current tax law. It's fantastic. And that's what I'm doing too. So I'm building up my VTI, building up my VTI, building up my VTI in a brokerage account. Uh, he had cash, literally cash, so more power to him. I'm not, I'm not there yet, so I'm building my VTI, in which case I live on uh, when I hit 60, essentially, and I'm retired from doing this hard labor of YouTube videos. I doubt I ever retire from this. They'll ban, ban me first, but you, you see what I'm saying. So I'm sitting there saying, okay, you're living off your VTI in a brokerage account. Let's say you're selling $80,000 a year. $40,000 is your return of principal. That's a $40,000 long-term capital gain. That means it's taxed as zero under this current threshold that we have here today, tax law, which means you get full Obamacare subsidies. You got no taxes in the front end of your retirement. You got to build up cash or build up brokerage account either way. But I was like, I get it. I get it. I'm telling you. But and we ran the numbers, man. And then we said, you know, go large or go home. And if we went large in, in terms of him doing Roth conversions, the 24% tax bracket, he would pay a significantly less in taxes. It was actually 500000 less in taxes. But in this, if he went large, he would pay uh, significantly less in taxes uh, in, the, the, in the entirety of his life. But he's going to pay 70000 a year for the next 10 years. On top of losing Obamacare subsidies, eh, it's just it's, that's a tough that's a tough bridge to take, man. So, 
build up cash, it just gives you flexibilities. And when I say cash, I'm talking brokerage accounts. It just gives you flexibility. All right, love to your thoughts. We'll see you.